Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we take a look at calibrated 1D measuring with MVTech Halcon. As an example, let's measure the distance between these solder cups. In a previous tutorial, we learned how to calibrate our camera setup. Using the camera parameters and the pose, we want to measure the distance in millimeters. First, we need a measure object that defines the region where the measurements take place. We can either measure along an arc or a rotated rectangle. Here, a rectangle is better suited. Then, we need to specify the position of this measure rectangle. To get these parameters, you can, for example, use this dialog. Choose the rotated rectangle and draw it directly into the graphics window. Now, we can transfer these values to our operator. Additionally, we have to specify the size of the image where the measurement takes place. Lastly, we could specify the interpolation method, which influences the accuracy as well as the runtime. However, since our rectangle is exactly horizontal, this parameter does not influence the result. Next, we loop through all of the images. Using shape-based matching, we align the images. For the measurement, the object must always be at the same position. In the loop, we perform the actual measurement using the measure handle that was just created. The standard operator is measure pause. This operator extracts straight edges which lie perpendicular to the measure rectangle. Alternatively, we can use measure pairs, which groups the edges into pairs. For this, we have to specify the transition we want to measure. If you set transition to positive, the measurement begins with a transition from dark to light and ends with a transition from light to dark. For negative, it is the other way around. Thus, we could set transition to negative to measure the width of the solder cups. However, since we actually want to measure the space between the objects, we set transition to positive. As a result, we get the coordinates of the detected edges. Additionally, the intradistance specifies the width of the gaps, and the interdistance specifies the widths of the objects. Next, I prepared a local procedure to visualize the measurement. Now, we see a problem. Here, due to a reflection, a false edge is found. To prevent this, we can adapt the parameters of measure pairs. In this case, the gray value amplitude is quite small. We simply raise the threshold to get rid of this false edge. This edge is not found perfectly. In cases like this, we can change transition to positive strongest. Thus, if there are similar consecutive edges, the most distinct one is returned. Here, the gray value amplitude is higher. Instead of raising threshold, we have to increase sigma. This smooths the image before the measurement takes place. Thus, you can reduce the influence of noise for the measurement. However, if sigma is too large, neighboring edges may influence the measurement result. Until now, all these measurements were performed in pixels. As a last step, we want to calculate the distance between the objects in millimeters. Note, however, that you cannot simply convert the intradistance into metric values. For this to work, you would have to rectify the image. Instead, we want to transform the image points, which are in pixels, into a world coordinate system in meters. 
For this, we use Image Points to World Plane. For our convenience, we set scale to millimeters. We do this twice for the first and second points. Now, these X and Y coordinates are in millimeters. The origin is defined by the reference calibration plate image that was defined during the calibration. Next, we use distance PP to calculate the distance between the coordinates. Lastly, we change the distance that is displayed in the visualization procedure. Now, when running the program, the distance between the solder cups is calculated and displayed in millimeters. Finally, after the loop, we should add close measure to free the memory used by the measure handle. This concludes our video on calibrated measurements. You should now be able to create your own basic measure applications. For more complex applications, have a look at the solution guide on 1D measuring. Additionally, check out our YouTube channel for more tutorials and information about our products. Thank you for watching.